एक्स्ट्रा टाइम This is the school where Abby de Villiers used to study in his early days. Dion Boats was his coach. Not only Abby de Villiers, but also players like Jack Rudolph, Fab Duplessis used to play over there. In the dressing room, you can find captain's name on the board. Every season, the team photographs are also uploaded over there. Not only South Africa but also New Zealand player Neil Wagner also played in the team. On Monday, Extra Time correspondent Debashi Sen spoke to Dion Boats about the early lives of not only Abby de Villiers but also Jack Rudolph and Fab Duplessis. Yeah, if I, I hope Faf doesn't see this interview then, but um, obviously I think AB was the more talented player. Faf was always the grinder, so the guy that would walk in, play well under pressure, and would anchor in innings and bat through, where AB was more the guy walks in and scores a 90 or 100 of, you know, in the first 15 overs of the game and basically would kill the game from there. So, and AB playing all the other sports, it just tells you that there was a lot of natural talent there. Well, I, th I think he had, you know, with his child um, and his children he, he's got, I think he needed a bit of a rest. I think he played a lot of cricket and I think he wanted to spend time at home. He's a, he is a big family man and I think the cricket and the time away from home just got to him a bit. I think he was also very disappointed with the World Cup um, when we fell out against New Zealand in that semi-final. So mentally I think it was very important for him to take a bit of a break. I think for AB it is, it's very important to somewhere in his career and it's and it's nearing the end to just win one World Cup. I think that's very important for him. So obviously I think the media got hold of him a bit, um, not being available for test cricket and I think he's made a decision, you know what, I'm going to play test cricket and at the end of the day, hopefully in a one day game or in the T20s we can just win one World Cup somewhere. So I think that is why he's back and he's playing. And um, I know AB, he's a positive um, kind of thinker and he would still want to play a lot of cricket for South Africa and do well for South Africa. But he would want to win that World Cup. And I think he's focused now with this team. I think they, they, they would want to win something <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, well, he's basically, he was a very special player from the from the start. If you get youngsters that walk in and they hit an on drive and it's with power and, and great timing, then you know there's something special there. Um, so in that sense, I don't think I contributed a lot. There was just one period in his in his first team career where he had a bit of a bad grip pulling the ball, and he had a lot of top edges and got caught and we had to change that. Um, we had a bit of a discussion about it and AB, well, we decided to change his grip. And obviously today, I think maybe his, his grip is okay. Well, he was, he, he was pretty good in most things that he did, but there's a somewhere a website that said he was a great swimmer and a great athlete. And basically he excelled in four sports, I think tennis, Firstly, as a primary school kid, I think he was number two in the country as a primary school kid. Because of his rugby and his cricket, he couldn't play tennis at, at high school anymore. But then he started with, with the rugby and the cricket. The rugby he played in grade eight and nine, that was under 14 and 15. And then he decided in his under 16 year, he's going to play a bit of hockey. But because of the rugby, he played C's and D sides. So he thought he might give hockey a bit of a go, but then he, he realized that the, the, the rugby was a lot better. So in grade 11, when he was 17 again, he started playing rugby for the school. He played for the first team rugby, 
in his uh, under well when he was under 17 and 18 and he even made the provincial rugby side um, so that was quite an achievement as cricketer he always played a side cricket so he played under 14 a and then in his under 15 year he made the first cricket side batting at eight for the school and keeping for the school and then he excelled from his under 16 year he excelled he made the SA cult side and then the SA school side and then the SA under 19 side um, so he did pretty well with it. Well at some stage we we actually thought that he's maybe maybe he's gonna pick rugby above cricket so we were a bit worried and the old Springbok the way I have it is the old Springbok eighth man Vainant Klaassen he actually had a chat with him and probably convinced him more or less to play to play cricket rather than rugby. AB himself would probably say you know what um, he was always too small to play rugby so he would have played cricket in any case. He was a very good golfer as well to just add that he, he actually had a handi handicap of one but at school mainly he played rugby and cricket. Yeah well AB has been brilliant with that um, so AB has has come back for a couple of things. I know uh, Ali Bacher came here to do that in conversation um, with him. So he, they attended our assembly and, and he spoke to the kids in, this, uh, in the wall. And then he, he, he comes back for certain, it's like his book. Um, he came back here, we did, we did something for him about his book. But what is nice of AB is he, he actually attends some of the rugby games. So at our school, the rugby games we would get 10 to 15,000 people attending a game. And at times, AB would come here with his family because his brothers were here as well. So they would come watch a rugby match here at office. I have to take him to the, to the main rugby field and you know, have some space for him and his family to sit, otherwise the people will bother him too much. But basically then he sings with the school at the end, he sings the, the school song with him and, and and it's very nice actually um, with him. He also went into the first team change room, I think against Boys Eye a couple of years back and had a chat with him just before the game. So he's actually very good with it. I think Faf, uh, mainly he lives in Cape Town now, so he's a bit far away. AB still lives here. So I think it's a bit difficult for Faf to actually come back to school and, and just be here with the kids. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.